Show on back with part two. All right. Inquisition shall be made unto the consuls of the ungodly. All right. Who is Esau? The wicked. All right. This is Ezekiel chapter 35, picking up where we left off, talking about the blood. All right. And because thou had had a perpetual hatred, that's called enmity. You'll find that in Genesis 3.15. Look that word up. All right. And hit the noun so you can see exactly what it means. All right. So, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel, of the Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, all right? Remember, a house thief cometh but to steal, kill, destroy, to rape, rob, commit murder, it's genocide, right? And shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. You know, Esau is at the end of his kingdom. Right? Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, right? Second Ezra 6 and 9. That's the prophecy. Okay, so Esau is at the end of his kingdom, right? The end of his reign, rulership. All right? And he is the end of the world, the ending of this world. But Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. All right? That's our kingdom. All right? Yahweh Shai's kingdom. Starting with the elect, we are co-heirs to that kingdom, pursuant to Romans 8, 17. All right? So, let's continue here. Therefore, as I live, save the Lord, right, God power, the Most High, I will prepare thee unto blood, prepare Esau unto blood, right? And blood shall pursue thee. And since thou has, has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Okay? I'll give you a precept to that. What is that? Numbers 35? Thirty-three, thirty-four. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for the blood it defileth the land. Right? This land was defiled, right, by the blood of the Israelites that they shed. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. There you go. But by the blood of him who shed it, who shed the blood of the Israelites, you Edomite, starting with Columbus coming in 1492. All right. Defile not therefore the land which ye shall inhabit wherein I dwell, for I, the Lord, Yahweh, dwell among the children of Israel. Which again just proves he's not in the churches. Because twice in Acts, Acts 7.48 and Acts 17.24 will both tell you that the Lord does not dwell in them temples. All right? Them temples built by hand. He doesn't dwell in their temples, synagogues, and churches. He dwells amongst his people, the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, and make up 12 tribes. Because we are the temple of the Lord. And that's pursuant to 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. All right? All right, something else uh, about in humble. All right? I already showed you who, uh, who that is, the humble. All right? That's the Israelites. Well, let's go to... Uh, Psalms 82, all right? What does it say here? The God power standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked. Defend the poor and fatherless. Who are who? The Israelites. Do justice to the afflicted and the needy. <clears throat> no words for the Lord to take revenge. And this is what happens every time any of us die and our spirit goes back, you know, into the heavens. That's what we do, because you can read about that in Job. All right? Defend the poor and the fatherless. 
do justice to the afflicted and the needy, deliver the poor and the needy, again, talking about the Israelites, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Who is who? Esau, the white man. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. See that? Because that's the way the Lord made them. Right? And you'll see that as the lesson goes on here. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. That's right. Everything is topsy-turvy. Everything is upside down. All right? You have women thinking that they're men. You have men thinking that they're women. And so on and so forth, people. I'm not going to go deep into that. You people know exactly what I'm talking about. And you know it goes a lot deeper than that. All right? And I'll read you verse 6. I have said, ye are gods. Who are the gods? The Israelites. Ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. That, is that talking to the whole world? No. This is talking to Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? This is not talking about Esau, Edom, and the other 16 heathen nations. All right? This Bible is not, uh, is not global. It's not universal. All right, Psalms 147, 19 and 20 will clearly tell you that. All right? But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princesses. All right? All right. Uh, let's move on. Let's go to uh, Psalms 89, 14. All right? Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Who's throne? The most high throne. Mercy and truth shall go forth, shall go before thy face. There you go. All right? So the Lord is the judge. All right? He's the judge. Let's go to Escalatius uh, 8 and 4. All right? Escalatius 8 and 4. Where the word of a king is, there is power, right? Who are we talking about? The Most High, Yahweh, right? Or his son, Yahweh Shai, right? Who has all power and authority, right? And who may say unto him, what does it thou? All right? So understand that all power, everything that Esau does, Remember that it does not, all right, oversee the decrees of the Most High, all right? So Esau can only do what the Most High lets him do, okay? You understand that? All right? Uh, Proverbs 8.15. Let's go there. By me, kings reign. You see that? By who? By the most high. All right? Yahweh Bachim, Yahweh And princes decree justice. Okay? You understand, people? Are you getting the picture? Let's go to Escalatius, Sirach, 10 of 4. All right? What does it say here? The power of the earth is in the hands of the Lord. You see that? The Most High, right? Or His Son, Yahweh Bachin, Yahweh Chai, right? Again, who has all power and authority. And in due time, He will set over it one that is profitable. And who's the Lord going to set up? The Israelites. All right, starting with the head Israelite, Yahweh Chai, our Lord of Lords and King of Kings. All right, uh, let's jump to Psalm 75. And seven. All right. Give me a minute. All right. This is Psalm 75, 7 and 8. All right. But God is the judge. You see that? All right. The most high. He put it down one and he set it up another. You see that? 
You understand that, people? All right? Remember, those that are last shall be first, and those that are first shall be last. All right? In verse 8, For in the hand of the Lord Yahweh there is a cup, and the wine is red, and it is full of mixture, and he poureth out the same. But the dregs thereof, right? All the wicked, see that? The ungodly, Esau, of the earth, shall wring them out and drink them. You see that? And there are many precepts to cover that, but that's a lesson for another time. All right? Let's uh, go to Escalate the Sirach 11 and 5. All right? And what does it say here? Many kings have sat down upon the ground, and one that was never thought of had worn the crown. You see that? And the Edomites out there, or the other nations, they don't think of the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans wearing crowns upon their heads. They certainly don't. All right? You know what? Uh, we're going to end this here, and we'll be right back with part three, and we'll pick it up here. All right, show the one.